I just read a piece the other day in the journals about a executive at Apple, an Apple executive who's a yeah. car enthusiast. Yeah, I know Have that. you already talked about this? No, no, we haven't, but yeah. So there's a there's a TikToker whose shtick is that he'll at, he'll catch people in luxury cars, I gather, noteworthy cars, and his thing is like, hey, what do you do for a living? He approaches an Apple executive. who uh, this The detail that matters to me the most is the guy's with his wife. He's not at a work function, and he's with his wife, which totally changes what he's how he answers. Yeah. He's with his wife, and he decides to quote a movie that's becoming increasingly obscure as the years go by, which is the movie Arthur, which is like a comedy about a drunk. Who is that? Dudley Moore. Okay, Dudley 1981. Moore. 1981. Okay. And he says, someone says, what do you do for a living? And he said, he's trying to be funny, and he quotes Arthur. Let's play it. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. What do you do for a living? <laughs> I race cars, play golf, and fondle big-breasted women. <laughs> but I take weekends and major holidays off. Okay. <laughs> that is quite the career. I'm looking to get into that. His wife is <laughs> laughing. If you're interested, i got a hell of a dental plan. Okay. <laughs> you do it all. You do it all. Yeah. And you participate in this activity. <laughs> <laughs> His wife is laughing hilariously. But Anyways, she thinks it's funny. That guy's job ain't no more. <laughs> he, yeah, they fired him for that. <laughs> and I was, and I, was, I was trying to explain it to my wife the other day, and, and you know what? Though I was trying to explain it to her um, in the aftermath of my nine one one incident here in Austin, so we, I, we, I didn't get her full take on it. <laughs> it's pretty. Apple exec was fired after being caught on video joking about fondling big-breasted women. Said he stayed up all night trying to get the TikTok down before it went viral. Imagine being that TikTok dude and having that dude getting a yeah. hold of you to say take it down. Yeah. You're like in a real um Yeah. That might be you really feeling like you had a lot of sway for that moment. He was in the company for twenty two years. Uh-huh. Twenty two years and they fought they fired him for quoting a movie. A, a joke. A joke quoting a movie, which his wife, who was right next to him, thought it was hilarious. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a tough one, man. This is a fucking bizarre time of recreational outrage. The idea that someone would be actually outraged at him quoting that movie in front of his wife, like, that is crazy. And that you could lose your job for that. It almost makes me want to not buy an Apple phone. It really does. <laughs> it just makes me so angry that you would do something so stupid. You know, like... We're in a, the strangest of strange times when it comes to that shit, because the purity test is impossible for every, especially when you catch someone like that. Mm-hmm. You know that no one's passing those these purity tests. You know you catch a kid probably just f- fucking around, having a great time, driving this beautiful car at a car event, right? Wasn't it a car event? Mm-hmm. Just trying to have fun, being silly. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, that's your public take on breasts. No, it's forever. It, I know. I read that and I was like, oh, that's a that's a really difficult <sighs> that's a really <laughs> it's that's horrible. A difficult one. It's horrible. And the, the, the thing is the co- you know, the company would face backlash if they didn't do that, but how much? And for how long? Like, you know, they they like say, although we don't condone it, uh, and the guy could say, I'm sorry, I was just quoting a movie. I thought it was funny. I realized it was offensive. My apologies. And I'm gonna donate all this money to big breasted women. Have back problems. <laughs> sure, yeah. Like, it, but the fact that they face zero backlash for firing that guy—that's disturbing, because they're they're incentivized to make the worst choice. The worst choice is to fire this guy for something silly, just a joke. Yeah, the tonality of the thing I read was uh, was had. I don't know, man. I, I read between the lines a little bit of eye roll, but it wasn't condemnation. Condemnation's appropriate for that, not for him, but for the company. No, that's what I mean. Yeah. It was it was a little bit of like, wow. I yeah. mean, because like I said, it pointed out like his wife, you know, I don't know why it changes so much for me that the guy's wife was there, but it changes a lot for me. It does, yeah. because if he was just some playboy, some guy who's just uh, working at Apple, making millions and being, a, you know, being a jerk. But even then, it's not being a jerk. He's quoting a movie and his wife thought it was hilarious. She's yeah. right next to him. She thinks it's so funny. You know, and he's an older guy, so he remembers Arthur. You know, mm-hmm. that's a, I remember that quote. Like, find, see if you can find uh, the quote from Arthur. What? This was reported in September when it happened. The video was recorded in August. Uh, this ha- the incident, I suppose, happened in September. But why the hell did I just are, read about it the other day? I know these articles I'm seeing are just posted this past week. I'm wondering why it's going around again now. It's kind of hmm. 
seems the timing is a little weird. Well, he's been talking about it now. Oh, that might be why he sat he sat for a portrait in the in the journal article. Mm. So he's going on like a press run about it. Well, yeah. you know, he might be get he might be fixing to take some legal. Okay, he probably mm. is, and justifiably so. Yeah. Um, I mean, is that? <sighs> Come on. But you know what, man? We're we're also doing. You know what? We're doing the. Um, let me reapproach this. You might remember that you recently had Bill Mayer Mar Mar. Yeah, Mar. <laughs> you know, on 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 your show, and I listened to that with great interest. And he had a, he was talking about you know he's like historically regarded as like you know a very noteworthy liberal, but he was expressing, you know that that the left gives him so much good material, and his kind of crusade against. Um, present culture and certain things around free speech and all that um and that conversation this one we're having right now got me to thinking that that you almost can fall into the same trap and i don't even know how it's different is the outrage recreational outrage at what point is the recreational outrage about this stuff become its own form of recreational outrage mm. like you know you hear it you hear crazy stuff from any spectrum, right? You hear crazy stuff, and you're like, "That's this has gone too far." You're like, "Geez, I'm just like every, you know." Yeah, I'm sort of like becoming everybody else. Yeah, because I sit around being like, "Holy cow, really?" With his wife, <laughs> you know? I wonder where it goes. That's the thing, because it seems to be accelerating. Like if that guy did that ten years ago, no one would bat an eye. Yeah, but now it's it's outrageous. And Listen, grounds man, for firing. It definitely. I mean. I have definitely, and not only in a, uh, not in a negative way, I don't think. I have definitely taken note of shit that I grew up saying in the atmosphere where, like, in the atmosphere I grew up, like, very normal things to say. I have definitely taken note that um, it's hurtful to some people. It's hurtful to people. And I don't get that much out of saying it. I'm not like sacrificing something. Right. Growing up, I mean, it's just, I mean, without, you know, you, you could sit around all day and talk about how, it, you know, it didn't mean anything, um, whatever. Uh, just like stupid shit you'd say in junior high. Right. And now, uh, you know, over like over the time that's gone on, I've realized you know, I don't know why I didn't think about saying that. I don't. I definitely don't need to say that. It's not what I think. It's not how I feel. I'll happily expunge that from the old vocabulary. Right. Right. I mean, it's 